We serve Buncombe County, North Carolina, which is the home of Asheville. So it, can, it has two different school systems. There's a city school system and a county school system. And it was very unique that they were two totally separate and two very different populations. So we had an inner city population as well as a county. So you had people that were very close to resources and people that were very far from resources. Um, we're also known for a couple years as Beer City USA. So we had the most microbreweries per capita in the United States. I think we were at 55 last time I checked. So I joined the Buncombe County Partnership for Substance Free Youth in 2010. So I was two months out of college. And the first thing I did when I got to my office on day one was Google, what is a coalition? Because <laughs> I had no clue what I was going to be doing. Two weeks later, I was in a CACA training and fell in love with the CACA model. And it's been a homework ever since. The coalition is most proud of all the relationships that we've built within the community. We have built so many great ones, not just with our local representatives, um, but our sheriff who's an elected official as well. Um, we were able to get sus sustainable funding for the coalition by being a permanent line item into the county budget, which I think is significant for long-term success of the coalition. Building relationships is a hard thing. And a lot of times I find myself having to help other people build relationships because it's Either it comes natural, it's natural to you or it doesn't. So building those relationships and um, one time I sat at the sheriff's office for eight hours because I needed him to sign a form so we could apply for Drug Free Communities Grant. So I literally sat there, I brought his secretary a uh, breakfast and she worked and I worked and it worked out. So making those sacrifices and finding the, not just the win-win for both of you in the end, but finding what you can do for them is always key. I would tell other coalitions to keep hitting the pavement. It's not a job that you can do at your desk. And I think that that can be a struggle for a lot of people, but it's about getting out in the community. It's about the community. So anything you can do to be out there, be part of other coalitions, be on those boards, make those sacrifices to be at those after hour meetings, make the sacrifice and buy the $5 coffee from Starbucks, um, whatever you have to do to win that person over, that's probably what you're gonna have to do. I'm very humbled to be named Advocate of the Year by CADCA because I feel like it was a, not just my effort, but the whole community and the whole town and everybody I worked with, it was everybody hitting that pavement and making things happen. And I just think it's awesome that CADCA recognizes people for all the really hard work because sometimes you just really need somebody to tell you, you're doing great. <laughs> I really think that CADCA has a really great mission and vision and I'm honored to be able to attend CADCA every year, not just forum, but mid-year and their work I really think is changing the field not just of prevention but of treatment and I just see so many wonderful things happening in the future. Um, it's been 25 years I think General Dean said and hopefully in another 25 we'll be making a lot more progress but they're doing wonderful things and I continue to hope to be a part of that.